you can get keyboard input directly from Python and this will be in the terminal box so in this case this box is here this is the terminal and to get the input you can simply use the function input and let's say you want to get variable x now if you do this it will ask you x but it won't actually be saved and so you want to save the input and you can save it like this so this function will return the keyboard input and store it into this variable x so then you can output it and if you look on this line you actually see we're using python 3 if you're using python 2 it would be raw input but you, you should use python 3 because it's the newest version so you can check your version just with this command and you'll see that I have both installed and by default I'm using the third version if you want to get several variables you could do it like this just repeat and perhaps you want to do some calculation with that So if you try this, you'll see it's 56, which is not right. And why is that? Because Python reads it as text variables. So if you concatenate two text variables, it just adds them together. What you actually want is to have numeric variables. So you'd have to convert text variables, which is text input from the keyboard, to numeric variables. And you can do that by you surrounding this either as whole number or as floating point number so whichever you'd want so let's do floating point and now run the program again let's say six and uh, three and now you'll see the number is correct and because we use floating point we can also use the comma so you can one and a half and seven point two and you'll see 8.7 so this is how you would get numeric inputs now there's a little bit of tricky because if you want to now show it combined with text so let's say the sum of x and y is then this is a numeric variable and the print function can only take text input and so you'd have to convert this number again to text so surround it with the str command which will convert number to text if you run it you see now we have that on one line so it can be a bit quick a bit tricky with data conversion because it will get text input which you don't have to convert to numeric variables and finally to show it combined to a text you'd have to convert it again to a text variable so what if you would want to get a list of numbers well you could get a list say uh, numbers like this and let's say the numbers are separated by a comma so then you'd have to to take this input and the numbers are actually a string so you could say numbers.split on the comma and you could save that into a list so then if you print the list you'd see we have different items in the list so this is how you would get a number a list of of numbers and in another video we'll go more in depth into lists and for now just remember that this function gets input from the keyboard and that you'd have to use python 3 for this function so otherwise if you use an old version it will throw an error with this line so that's basic number input in basic text input in python